Today we're going to talk about your financial performance and how they fit into your investor pitch. When you're pitching to angel investors or venture capital, you should always include a pro forma in your pitch deck. Some people say it's not necessary, but really it's one of the most important slides that any investor is going to want to look at. There are a lot of red flags that can show up in a pro forma, and these are the things investors want to look at to make sure that this is the investment they want to get involved with. Today we'll talk about how many years your pro forma should have. Technically, there's no fixed amount that it should always have, but typically it's about five years. One of the reasons for this is that five years is the typical amount of time between founding and exit for a fast-growing early-stage startup company. A pro forma shows how you think. It shows when is your exit going to be? What will your revenues be at that time? And how big do you want to scale this? Investors want to see how you think so that they can see if they're aligned with your goals and with theirs. Nobody expects you to hit all the numbers in your pro forma. It just doesn't happen. But everyone expects you to do the research and to get as close as you can you want to predict reasonable growth, but sales can be difficult. On the other hand, expenses can be more highly predictable. You should be able to control when you hire people, when you conduct ad campaigns, or when you add new capital equipment. These things could be controllable, whereas the growth in revenues, you have some impact on it, but it's not always in your hands. One reason the pro forma is important is that it's used to create the exit valuations. Exit valuations are typically based on a multiple of exit year revenues. So if you can show someone in your pitch what kind of revenues you'll have in your exit year, they'll have a better idea about what kind of returns they can have right away without having to go through a whole lot of undue due diligence. Another thing the pro forma does will help you to model your capital needs throughout your growth cycle. Investors can immediately see how much you've got in red at the bottom, showing your losses through the first few years. And they can understand when will be the good times for you to raise money, how much capital you're going to need, and how that's going to impact your growth. Showing these things allows you to project how fast you want to grow and when you need money. Some pro formas even extend beyond the exit. I've seen companies who plan a three year or five year exit and they may put in a pro forma that shows five or seven years showing one or two years of revenues after the company is acquired by a larger company in its industry. This kind of a pro forma shows what kind of, it, what kind of returns this acquiring company can have and it makes the exit strategy that much more clear. So there's a lot of uncertainty in early stage companies and to just say, oh, we can't create a pro forma because of all that uncertainty doesn't make sense. Good CEOs always have a plan. And CEOs who have a plan are way more successful than those that just wing it and go throughout without any plan whatsoever. So create a great pro forma, do the research, and project all the way through your intended exit.